hello, and welcome to Frugal Gamer. Excuse my voice, and excuse my mess of a face and hair, but I just woke up, so just forewarning. Today I wanted to talk about five reasons to live frugally and or minimally. Now, one of the things that I wanted to touch up on is a lot of you don't seem to really be watching the videos and I mean, I'm putting up these videos so that you guys can try to get your lives together. So this video is going to be five reasons to live frugally and or minimally. Number one is you find yourself needing less stuff. Therefore, you're less likely to buy on impulse and you're less likely to sit there and try and convince yourself that you need something. You're going to sit there and you're going to think logically and you're going to say, hey, you don't need this. You don't actually need this. You have two at home. You're just trying to get another one so that there's three. There's no point in doing that. And then on top of that, you, sh you will be more likely to plan ahead for everything. For example, with the scheduling of where you go, that's going to be habitual. There are some of these mundane tasks that you will find you're going to be turning into habitual stuff just so it's not a drag to do it. But, uh, number two is going to be, you find yourself less overwhelmed. Like, when you, when you live frugally, you find that you're not as overwhelmed with the overbearing, you'll find that, you'll find yourself less overwhelmed. When you live frugally, you will find that you are, it's like a weight is being lifted off your shoulders when you start to focus on living frugally because you're not spending your money frivolously. You're actually trying to think about, am I actually going to use this? And then minimally you're going to look around the room and you're going to look at what um, you're going to look at around the room and you're going to look at what you do and don't have and then you're going to realize you don't have that much stuff and so when you see all of the space you're not going to want to fill it up. There's going to be no point to fill it up. Because, I mean, why would you fill it up? It looks nice. But, uh... Number three is going to be... You're better off. Like, truthfully, you are better off. Whether it be financially because of the frugal side. Or whether it be mentally because of the minimalism. It really doesn't matter. <clears throat> You will find yourself to be so much better off because you are saving so much money just from these two lifestyles. It's going to be crazy. Alright, now number four is going to be you have greater potential. When I say this, it means you have more potential to focus on what makes you happy. For example, if you're focusing, if you're going to look at yourself and say, hey, I don't actually need that Netflix bill and I don't need that Hulu bill either because I don't even watch TV, then go ahead and take those off and then you're going to have more potential to do the things that you actually want to do. For example, if you're somebody into makeup, go ahead and do makeup. If you're somebody that's into technology, 
go ahead and start messing with computers or phones or whatever. It's just a matter of how far you're willing to go to actually do the things that you want. And when you get into these lifestyles, you have more potential to do the things that you actually want to do. Not only that, but you're going to be able to focus better as well because you're not worrying about, oh, there's this other bill, or you're not worrying about, oh, there's this mess to clean. It, if you stick to these lifestyles, you will have more of a chance to focus on the things you want to do. Alright, and then number five is self-esteem. You become less worried about others and you become more worried about yourself. Because when you live frugally, you realize, don't worry about the Joneses. Those people across the street, they're doing something totally different. Maybe that's something that they want to do. That's not something you actually want to do. That's something that you just kind of shrug off. Just shrug it off and focus on what you actually want to do. But, uh, yeah. And then you become more worried with yourself. What I mean by that is you become more inclined to do the things that you want to do. As I mentioned earlier. You become more worried with your medical life and your home life and a whole bunch of different aspects of your personal life. You become more focused on that stuff, on worrying about improving yourself in some of those aspects, rather than, oh, my house needs to have a garden just like the next door neighbors. No, it does not. If you would prefer to buy your food, then you go ahead. Alright, that was it for this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, I really do hope you guys like the videos that I'm putting out. But, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video.